36 miles an hour had been calculated as the ideal entry speed. Slower than this, and he'd fall. Much faster, and the G-forces would knock him unconscious and exert a dangerous force on the ramp's structure. The Toyota Igo Steve had chosen for the stunt had been heavily modified to make it strong enough and hopefully safe enough should things go wrong. Here we go, this is it. This is it, oh, we're going in too fast. And here we go. It was so light at the top, I really thought I'd lost it. I felt weightless, I thought, I'm falling. I'm so glad that I stayed in touch with the road all the way around. As soon as I left the ramp, just a complete feeling of joy and elation. Dr Hugh Hunt's analysis revealed how close we'd come to disaster. Just 2.5 miles an hour slower and Steve would have fallen. And here we go. One mile an hour faster and the extra friction caused by the scraping would have made him fall as well. Steve hit it spot on, so take a moment to savour the world record for driving a car around the largest loop-the-loop. -loop. Chances are you'll never see it executed so perfectly ever again.